Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. The handsome men fighting for Jen Tran's affections are almost back, along with The Bachelorette. Already, one endearing competitor has taken center stage and won the audience over. What though makes him so unique? See why this suitor is someone to keep an eye on. The Bachelorette premiere is in one month. Jen Tran was initially introduced to the public as a competitor on Joey Grazia Day's season of The Bachelor. She went on a romantic evening with him that featured breathtaking drone photography and surfing in the ocean. However, her bond was not as intense as his feelings for other women. In week seven, right before hometown dates, Jen was sent home. On her own season of The Bachelorette, she now gets another shot at hometown dates. In the history of the series, she is the first lead who is Asian American. Because Jen Tran's season wasn't shot at the renowned Bachelor Mansion, it will also be different. She spent most of her season filming abroad before coming home for hometown dates. After production for season 21 of The Bachelorette concluded in late May, Jen Tran made a comeback to social media. When will the season premiere on television? The launch date of July 8, 2024, was previously announced by ABC. Monwed at 8 p.m. Eastern, the program will stream on Hulu the next day. Recently, the network also presented the 25 guys they cast in the role of suitors to the audience. Fans of Bachelor Nation have already taken notice of one of them. Fan favorite, one of Jen Tran's suitors already. The twin brother of former Bachelor in Paradise participant Noah Erb, an algebra teacher, a sommelier, and a pet portrait entrepreneur are among the competitors for season 21. To view the biography of each competitor, click this link. Brett, 28, is a Pennsylvania-based manager of health and safety who has already won over many fans. His typical body shape is something that fans of Bachelor Nation have been clamoring for years. In other words, Brett is not six-pack material. Despite not being a father, he has a dad bod. Brett is a life of the party who can do the slits and will do them on command, according to his bio. And a lot of fans of Bachelor Nation enjoy it. View a few of the remarks on ABC's Instagram account. For Brett, I'm here. Brett is adorable, therefore he had better be a really great guy. Please more Bretts. It's about time we got a bigger guy on these shows. Go Brett, pick up the slack for T-M-B-R-E-T-T. -E Our favorite player of the season will be Brett. He has already been dubbed the next Bachelor by a number of admirers. Now I want to see some body inclusiveness on the Bachelor seasons for the women. A fan requested of the network, though. How do you feel about Brett, a contestant on The Bachelorette? Did you notice another suitor? During the Tell us in the comments season below. 21 final, Jen Tran teased something fresh to The Bachelor Nation. At the CMA Fest in Nashville on Saturday, June 8, Jen 26, stated during an interview with former Bachelorette Caitlin Bristow, I think I'm also being told that the ending of my season is something that has never happened before. On Saturday, Bristow, 38, posted a video of the interview to Instagram story. Jen did not go into detail when asked what viewers could specifically anticipate from the season 21 final. Jen returned to social media last month following the conclusion of filming for the ABC reality series. She posted numerous images of herself posing in an alleyway along with the caption, Proof of Life. But on Instagram on May 24, the past few months have been really hectic, but I'm back, I'm appreciative, and this is just the beginning. The first teaser for The Bachelor's 21st season, released by ABC last month, featured Jen in a giant claw machine, prepared to choose from a range of Bachelorette suitors and red roses. The power is in her hands was the season's tagline that flashed across the screen. 
As a competitor on season 28 of The Bachelor, which had its final in March, Jen made her debut in the world of Bachelor Nation. Joey Graziade, the season's top contestant, eliminated her before they could visit her hometown. Graziade eventually asked Kelsey Anderson to marry him. During after the final rose in March, Jen said, I feel so, so grateful and so honored to be the first Asian bachelorette in this franchise. And now that I'm in this position, telling my own love story and becoming the protagonist of my own, I just can't stop thinking about how many people I'm inspiring, the speaker said. When Jen told Entertainment Tonight in March that they would be breaking the mold of prior seasons, she hinted that her season of The Bachelorette will be historic in a number of ways. In an interview with E.T. in March, Jen said, I think what I've been trying to tell myself is I'm the first Asian Bachelorette. First, physician assistant, student, we're really breaking the mold this season. I believe that breaking the norm would be ideal with a new residence. I'm going to send it some positive energy. The former energy. Bachelorette is currently going through a divorce. During her stay on the show, she got to know Brian Abbasolo, and the two became engaged. After getting married, the two were wed for four months before he abruptly filed for divorce in January. She recently expressed regret for not having a prenuptial agreement written before their wedding, and their divorce appears to be anything but amicable. Even though their marriage ended and things are going well now, Rachel says she still views everything as a success story. Why, see what she has to say by continuing to read. Bachelorette Rachel Lindsay thinks her relationship was successful. In regards to her split from Brian Avasolo, Rachel Lindsay is being more transparent. They are currently in the process of coming to an agreement to officially dissolve their marriage, after he filed for divorce in January. During her latest audio appearance on Hidden Gems with Natasha Parker, Rachel shared some of her feelings. She has expressed remorse over not having a prenuptial agreement written because of how messy, unnecessarily messy things are now. Even though she and Brian are separating and there are things she would do better, she nevertheless views their marriage as a success. I came off The Bachelorette and had a successful relationship. Rachel declared. Everyone was thrilled that it worked, but now it doesn't. It just didn't finish that way. It wasn't a happy ending, even if it was at points. As a result, I believe that people will perceive me differently because it was unsuccessful. Though their divorce is causing havoc, she still views her relationship with Brian as favorable overall. According to Rachel Lindsay, her unhappy marriage played a significant role in her happy ending. Even though it's a mutual divorce, there's a little selfish decision involved. But I'm doing what's best for me, and that's a happy ending, the woman stated. As I'm going through it right now. No, it's not cheerful, and it's messy, unnecessarily messy. But when I get through it, I'll have to rebuild and reorganize, but happily ever after is what I want. In addition to requesting payment for his legal bills, Brian has been pressuring Rachel to grant him emergency spousal support. What do you think about Rachel claiming that despite their impending divorce, her relationship with Brian was a success story? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.